What is up everyone? It is Andrew Peer here of Be the AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube to ah, YouTube video. I almost said YouTube tutorial, but I mean same thing. Uh, in this YouTube video, I will be making a XXX Tentacion type beat. Um, I know you guys have been requesting this video for a long time. Maybe since 2015. Um, now we're gonna actually do it from the beginning, but I'm gonna I had some stuff kind of like already figured out, but we're kind of like, you see, we're, we're not, we're barely anywhere with this beat. Um, so first thing first, pulling up Omnisphere, this is what I had for the main melody. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. So this is like the main melody sound. So it's like that distortion sound. I'm gonna play the melody. Um, the melody was actually a MIDI file from the 18th Melody and Drum MIDI score kit. Uh, it was in the Trap Melodies. I'll go ahead and put the uh, MIDI score kit link in the, in the description as well. Um, but it's just gonna be taking you to the drum kit page at beatat.com. Um, what we also, what I did was also release a free demo of the AT XXX Tation drum kit. It's kind of like the XXX Tentacion uh, style. Um, I called it XXX Tation because I wanted to, you know, differentiate. I didn't want to like strip copy, dude. But these are very similar drums from uh, his music. This is just a demo version. We're coming out with a full version, which is going to have way more sounds and way more stuff. Um, we're still working on it. Um, well, actually, me, I'm mostly working on this drum kit. I'll probably be doing this one completely myself. Um, this 808, I'm going to play through all the sounds since this is just a demo and this is free. Just go to beatat.com, go to our drum kits and download section, or go to the members only download. Uh, you can become a member for free on beatat.com. There's no paid thing, there's no, none of that shit there. It's all free membership. Um, and once you signed in register then you can just go to the members uh, page and download our free drum kits and other shit that we put up there um so here's all the sounds all the 808s are tuned to c5 or near like very close to c5 they might be like maybe a couple of semitones off but like it should be like if you do um detect pitch on all of them it should be about all at c5 or like at some c note so when you draw it in on uh, fl studio like draw it in on um, your piano roll it's going to be on key so you could see i created the 808 around the bass line oh, excuse me so these claps are a little bit more distorted i'm gonna raise my volume in my headphones <laughs> It's like similar trap, but it's like very saturated, more exaggerated sounds and like almost stacked melodies. Some of these uh, kicks have like a little like uh, distortion at the end. You can actually trim that or you can keep it in there uh, since XXX Tentacion kind of has like that grit sound where it's like the rawness is just part of the music i didn't really focus too much on keeping these sounds really clean i was going for that musty dirty combine shooter uh, that's a stretch that's more bone to my opinion <laughs> but uh that, that's not a, that's a bad joke <laughs> but like you know what i mean like that metal dark crazy aggressive sound like anything that would be that style all right so that's, that's it going through that free demo. Link in the description. You guys just go there. Dope stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this up. So here's the melody. So that's what it sounds like with this gross beat. Well, this is a gross beat. I just created something randomly from it. 
We're gonna turn off the ghost beat now. Now with the 808. So what you see here is I have like a couple 808 slides if we mute this. All I need to do to do those 808 slides is click this and then click a note. Boom. Make sure you unclick that though so it goes back to that normal note. Or you could double click a note and you get this uh, note properties, which then you could just click this or click that. You know what I mean? And so we're going to go ahead and track this. I also did a cut self and a. Oh, I didn't do normalize, but now I did. So. Now we're going to pull that up. doing right now is just trimming some of that low end so with the 808 it doesn't fight too much but it doesn't really matter a whole lot um so then what i did after that was i pull up this symbol and go ahead and normal track plus sound and you can see how i just did that pattern it's like we're at 140 bpm um if you actually listen to this it's almost like a mosh style it's like now let's Also from the AT MIDI uh, melody and drum kit, it was in the hi hat fluctuation pattern. So I'll just pull it up real quick, so you guys can see. Is that? Uh, let's change the notes. Let's see if it might sound better on a different note. That sounds better than that. That sounds a little bit better than the F, in my opinion. That it was on. Wasn't really even. I don't think this hi hat was really tuned. So what I'm just doing is adding some reverb to this to make it a little bit more spacious, but you can barely can eat, you can barely even hear it through the mix, so it doesn't even matter tremendously. It's like just so much going through this. It just sounds so like just over the top. We're gonna pull the saturation knob just to kind of boost the harmonics. Yeah.
I think I'm gonna add a counter melody. So I'm pulling up Omnisphere. Hopefully this just did not bug up the audio. All right, so hopefully nothing gets off synced or anything. I really hope not because this is a really dope tutorial in my opinion. So, all right, so I just pulled up Omnisphere uh, as what we saw earlier. We're gonna pull up, we're gonna go through some different melodies real quick. I want to just sell all these real quick. So I just did a very simple like looping trap melody. This is just to thicken up the sound uh, and more for so as a background sound and a sound for the verse. Um, I'm not, it kind of actually reminds me of kind of like sipping tea in your hood and also kind of a little bit of that. Um, fuck, how, how do I not even know his biggest song? Wow. Wow, I cannot remember his biggest song right now. Wow, whatever. I, I'm having the worst difficulty remembering his song. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep working on this. Uh, we're going to pull up Maximus. I'm gonna... I don't want any of that low, so I'm going to do a lot of that. like, Kind of like a very light cut. This isn't really cutting. This is just... I'm compressing it to where it's not going to be audible for the most part. And I'm doing solo so I can only hear these ranges. So if I'm on mid, this is only going to be uh, showing me the audio in the mid. So if I raise this up, that means I'm raising the pre uh, pre gain. And if I pull it down, that means I'm lowering the pre gain. And the pre gain is the audio signal that's going into Maximus before the final output. So let's say you, you played a nylon, hypothetically, let's say Maximus made your, uh, made your shit distorted. So your pregain would be bumping up your acoustic guitar or whatever, your steel guitar. You'd be bo boosting up the signal of that. And then after the output, it's going to just sound louder because you boosted the input of it going in. That made sense. That's what pre gain is. And then uh, post gain is just the opposite. It's like affecting the audio after the effects. That's all you really need to know. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of the boost of the pre gain there, pull down the, the pre gain there. A little compression on that high. Maybe a little distortion. Sounds like a whole bunch of hodgepodge combined. We're gonna fix that. Though. We're gonna make it a little bit more audible, kind of. Um, do we need any more uh, drums? Yeah, we should probably add some reverse stuff. 
Maybe. Uh, maybe an orchestral crash. Can't even hear it. <laughs> So what we were just in, because some of you are bound to be completely new to music production, all this stuff over here is various drum kits, various different drum kits, all drum kits I use, I drag them over here, all drum kits available at beatat.com, anything with the AT sound kit is available at beatat.com, um, and just go to the drum kits section. So I drag over these samples, you can see how I laid out all of this. If you guys want to obtain the same uh, MIDI and other MIDI files and get our AT melody and drum MIDI score kit, a whole bunch of different uh, shit, but that's not the main focus of this tutorial. But pretty much I had the trap melody come in, and I'm going to show you this melody at least. Um, and it's just a basic melody. This was the, art, ah, the harp, which I used Omnisphere, and the lead was Omnisphere. Wait. Oh wait, I was just, I tricked myself. For some reason I thought I was using like Omnisphere 1. I, was, I don't know. Never mind. Ignore what I was just thinking. Anyways, both of these VSTs are Omnisphere, uh, Nasty Business Lead 2, and this uh, Fairies Plugged Harp B. Came up with this melody. This melody is pretty much the same melody, but a little bit more complicated. And since it's like a synth ARP, Thing I'm kind of showing you. This isn't like the full melody. It doesn't even matter if you guys know the melody. I really don't even care. Like here, fuck it. This is a melody. So it just goes up and down. And then this is like the bass notes. But since it's like a weird ARP, everything like modulates a little bit differently. So if you listen to it. Like those weird like distortion like crunches. I wanted that. Like it sounded dope. And it works out. So, um, and then what I did was pull up gross beat, created a point right here, which, uh, if we listen to this, I might just do this for like the breakdown. Like I'm not going to do that when it plays with the other melody, I don't think. But maybe for like a crazy breakdown, which we would uh, automate the toggle of that gross beat. And we'll get to that soon. Actually, I'll just create, right click, create automation. And it's going to be set off automatically. So we created this uh, main pattern in our channel rack, or like the loop uh, mode. That's how I like to say. Here, I'm going to move this microphone real quick. 
was like sitting really awkward because it was like not situated properly. And it's pretty good now. All right, so now we got this whole pattern in here. I don't want to be working with patterns, so I'm going to split by. No, I don't want to work with one pattern. Like, I don't want to. Never mind what I'm trying to say. I'm just fucking all over the place, I swear. So I'm pulling all these instruments down, as you can clearly fucking see. And you can see all these different instruments. But if you can't, you're blind. Which you shouldn't be watching a tutorial, a video tutorial at least. And we're going to zoom out. We're going to do a lock to content. Lock to content. Lock to content. Lock to content. I think we're locking to content. I assume we're going to click that one. I assume we're going to click that one. We're only going to click that one. I mean, I guess we're going to lock to content to that one too. So we lock to content to all of them. So what that means is I can now click anywhere. Uh, shit. And here, and it'll do the harp. Then it does the lead. Then does the symbol. Cool. Oh shit. There we go. So that's what the lock to content does. Instead of me clicking, then click this to select it, I can just automatically click in. Um, I'm gonna move all of these over here so they're out of the way. And now we're gonna build a beat. Uh, we're in 140 BPM, so everything is in double time, hypothetically, or literally, or theoretically. I don't know which one is between one of those three terms. Or maybe I'm just... I don't know. So intro, chorus, because we're probably going to go from an intro to a chorus. This is 13 seconds long. So let's make it 30. Nah. Yeah. 27. That's cool. So in the verse. So this is kind of like structuring it. I just do this mostly for tutorials for you guys. So you can kind of see how I'm going about this. We're gonna do a half speed. I'm not tr purposely trying to do like this trap style. I'm clearly aware that he that XX X X X Tentacion does other styles. However, is it not fair to say that all of his popular songs are the really crazy hype, distorted songs that are like very trap esque? I mean, tell, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, I really do believe that almost all of his popular songs are, like, the super distorted, crazy, fucking, mom-fucking, skull-bashing music. I love it. I fucking love it. I really do. So I do think that's, like, his most popular style. But I do know he makes other styles, and we will be making t other tutorials covering those other styles. But, so what I'm doing right now... Is I put a gross beat and I went over to presets momentary and I select half speed and I created right click to create automation clip and then naturally I had it set off so that means the automation because all an automation clip is is automating a uh, a function so it's gonna automate this function to turn on that gross beat which is a half speed effect to turn it on right up here So you can see where this is going now. So now I'm going to pull on these harps. This 808. Literally going to be pretty much drawing in everything. Alright, so now over here I'm just going to do the lead. 
and I'm gonna pull up this one and click create automation clip. It's the same premise as what we were working with earlier. I don't need that one. And what we could even do is change these uh, 808s up in hi hats. I'm gonna move these over. I think we actually got everything, so we just we could delete these. The reason why I didn't delete those is to lack the channel. You gotta have something in here first. So if I deleted all of these and it was lack the channel, well, there's nothing in here to lock to. So that's why I kept those over there. Here, we're gonna play from the beginning. And I do apologize for those of you that are very sensitive to hearing. There's a lot of noise blasting going on in this uh, tutorial because we are making fucking dick. God damn it. That's not what I fucking meant to do, for God's sakes. There we go. Mute. I meant to, like, right-click this. R. Fucking A. I did it again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gross beat right click there we go here we go all I was trying to do is name that mute so I know what the fuck this automation clip is gonna be I just want to mute that 808 so it doesn't go on when I don't want it to so like the 808 ends right here I don't want the 808 right here so I cut it Sometimes groove speed is really fucking weird where like it starts fucking up and going off beat. That's not how that actual beat would be. I don't know why gross speed does that. It just does that. Fuck gross speed, but I fucking love it at the same time. I mean that cursing mood, I'm gonna calm it down now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in the state of weight. Drag in these.
right now. Uh, before I do that, and I know I'm not really, I'm not gonna really master it per se. I'm just gonna cool it down and try to maintain this distortion while it doesn't peak over the top. Um, if that made any sense, I just want to, I want to capture that distortion, but bring it down so it's not gonna destroy someone's speakers, subs, or like be just over the top for someone. But I still want it to be like over the top at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, so here's this verse. It's very typical. It's a 16 bar verse. Um, I say 16 bars because here's two, here's two, here's two, here's two. So four, wait, that didn't make any sense. Hold on. <laughs> here is eight right in here. So picture, typically this would actually be a 16 right here. But since uh, I mentioned earlier, we're at 140 BPM, everything is double speed. So it's actually, this would be 16. And this is an eight bar chorus. I don't really think um, structuring really matters too much with XXX Tentacion style beats, but keeping that in mind would help you when making other beats. And having a structure is kind of important, especially if you're sending out beats to an artist and like you're not with the artist. Um, so yeah, and I just kind of drew a pattern on how I wanted everything. And we cool it down with no 808s right here, which reminds me we should mute them right here because that 808 kind of keeps on going. I don't like that. Um, so now if we listen. <laughs> Fucking pissing me off. Why is it not muting now? That's why I do muting with uh, the eight, with uh, gross beat just because it's super easy. You can just pull a gross beat and it goes right here to mute, and then I automate it. You can mute it any other way. Um, I just and I also do this on my 808s because of the way that I set it up with the cut to self, and when you have the distortion on top of an 808, it kind of like. If you if we let it drag off, it would just kind of like sound weird, and I, it's not the sound I want on this beat, at least. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so now let's listen to this part again. All right, so we're gonna do a, a limiter. Pull the sound good eyes are down. We're not gonna use it tremendously. I just wanna kinda like pull up more of those frequencies. Max miss now.
so I'm going to kind of go through this master and reasons to my madness. So the EQ, I'm going to do a little boost on this. Um, actually, fuck. You know what I forgot to add? We're at 38 minutes. I forgot to add a kick. I'm going to see if, yeah, it kind of does matter. We're going to insert. We're just going to do it real quick. Because the kick is going to add a little bit more pump to that 808. And I think that's the reason why I wasn't really satisfied. I haven't been satisfied with this so far. Um, we're going to have the kick wherever the 808 is at. Just for simplicity's sake. So we're going to go ahead and just paste uh, a kick pattern. Very similar to this 808. And we're going to go in here. Grab kick. So what we're going to do is something simple, control A, control C, go back to this, track this, control A, no, not that, control V. Um, now we're going to knock everything down. Actually, we should probably knock it down right here. originally on like a a3 i knocked it up a couple octaves higher a5 so we can hear it better so i'm going to pull up this 30 much it obviously you'd probably want to add another chorus and one more no one more verse and one more chorus and then the outro and you can you can see it the structure so then you do another 16 bar verse change up a couple notes and do a couple other things a little bit differently um this is just one style we're going to do other xxx tentacion style beats so if this helped you uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. All those are very beneficial. Um, we're going to be putting out more XXX content, though, or style content, at least. And if you guys want to get that drum kit, check in the description. And this is Andrew Peer here of b to at Production and Publishing, and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and play this beat, though, for all you there is one thing I'd like to point out that I did change the uh, 808 pattern um, towards the end. I forgot to point this out. Um, so here's the new, excuse me, the new 808 pattern, what it looks like. Uh, originally, I think a couple of these notes, instead of being on A sharp or on A, it didn't sound right. It sounded a little off tune. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play the beat now. Apologies on that. I wish I included that in the video, but I didn't. So, yeah. Hopefully that isn't a problem. Here's the beat now. <laughs> <laughs> 